Hey guys, it's Elway and Knives. He's joining us for this video, apparently. Um, he just decided to hang out on my shoulder as he wanders away. Apparently he doesn't want to hang out with us anymore. Um, anyways, I have a giant box from Milano.com. Um, they actually sent me a $100 gift card to spend on their website, and I want to share it with you. Um, their website's actually pretty cool. You know, all of that, um, I don't want to say you know, cheap foreign stuff you see on eBay, but all of the cheaper, um, more interesting pieces that you see on eBay, um, they have a lot of those on their website um, for both men and women. So, I went through and selected a bunch of random things. And, I mean, I'm, we're talking really, really random. And I've actually looked through some of it already, um, just so that way I knew what I was getting into. And I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, I got this wonderful, like, really nicely done card just saying thank you for your order. It also contains your invoice, um, so that way you can see what you ordered. And I'm going to pull this out for you now. So I want to see if the prices are actually on here. Hmm. And they're not. Because um, I wanted to share the prices with you on a lot of this stuff. Because I got such good deals. Um, that literally $100. And I have this giant ass box of stuff. Don't want to smush the cat. Um, everything came in its own little individual packages, and what I got was this cute little kitten mouse. And it's actually a good, you know, harder quality plastic. Absolutely adorable. I plan on wearing it randomly on my head like so. So it shall work perfect and be fun. We will put that right there for now. Um let's see. Ah so packaging. Um everything's got like like suede which it's faux suede um fringe purse and it needs to brush out a little bit so you know the tassels start hanging better but this was like a dollar 20 or a dollar 99 or something ridiculous and it's nicely lined inside and has pockets and all of that stuff so it's actually a really nice purse especially for like two bucks like seriously you could use it once and throw it away if you needed to so pretty cool I'm gonna let this hang and see how it kind of straightens itself out but I'm sure it will be fine and I'm I'm fairly impressed for you know a few dollars and ah this one I was super super excited about see everything is in this like these awesome little packages and this is this wonderful, like, fluffy bear jacket thing. And I can't find the sleeve. Aha, I found it. All right. So, fluffy bear jacket thing, cute little fluffy hood. It's absolutely adorable. A um, couple things with this, which um, one thing I will say is I am teeny tiny, so watch your sizing when ordering for them. Um, awesomely, they actually have 
all of their measurements for each item posted along with that item. So check your measurements and make sure you're ordering the correct size. Um, a lot of people don't realize that Asian sizing is actually smaller than American sizing, so be careful. Um, another thing with this, the lining in it isn't the best, but I also paid $30 for this. Um, so, I mean, for as far as that goes, I'm not worried about the lining. It's really, really warm and cozy, um, but the, the like furry hair stuff, I guess, is shedding a little. So I'm going to see how it does over the next couple days and let you guys know. But this was an awesome find and I was really excited for it. And one more jacket. This one I already opened and there is a belt for it because it is a motorcycle jacket. Um, not terrible material. Um, this one was like 20 bucks, I think. A um, little bit of a plasticky smell, but it is fake leather and it was a $20 jacket. Once again, check your sizing. Um, but awesome fit. It, you know, does seem like a pretty good quality product for the prices you're paying. Obviously, you're not buying designer clothing. Um, but for their prices they have listed, everything, you know, is pretty good, has a nice fit to it. I like it. Now, before I get into like all of the shirts and stuff I got, I also got a pair of shoes from them. They did not come in a shoe box, so if you're like a stickler for shoe boxes or something like that, these ones didn't come in a shoe box. I don't know if all of their shoes are that way, but this pair didn't. And they are super, super tall, um, which is why I got them. I was so excited to see that they had ridiculously tall shoes. And... I'll probably do another review of like walking in them and stuff like that, which I've already put them on and walked in them. They fit perfectly. I'd say they run true to size. Um, they are a little wobbly, but I'm going to blame that on being such a high, narrow heel. So if you struggle in heels most of the time, these are probably not the shoes for you. I, however, love my heels and could wear them for jogs, so... I think I'll be okay. I'm working on putting them on right now while I'm talking, by the way. So if I keep looking down, that's why. It is difficult to buckle shoes and not look and talk at the same time. Just throw a chewing gum in there and it's going to be interesting. So, super tall. Awesome shoes. I freaking love these things. Um... Yeah, they're going to look amazing. I can't wait to wear them out. Um, but yeah, they seem really sturdy. You're not getting, you know, too much wobble. They do fit really, really nicely. I'm a size 6, typically, um, and they, they're they perfect. They're not too tight. Um, they are a narrow pair of shoes. So if you have wider feet, um, these are probably not the best choice um, unless you're going to break them up in a little bit. And then you're going to be okay, but they do seem a little bit narrow, which is good for me because I have very thin feet. All right, moving on from shoes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six shirts. Six shirts. Um. They had a bunch of shirts that were like, sorry, I got like a weird piece of hair. Um, they had a bunch of shirts that were like 20 cents. Um, and some of them were like $2. There's one more expensive one in here that I think was like 10. But yeah, which is this one. Um, this one was 10 and it reminded me of a Unif shirt, which is Unif is one of my favorite clothing companies ever. Um, so super awesome. This one is actually, um, in a size medium, so I did size up a little bit in this, um, just because you wanted a looser fit. Mm -hmm. 
this is one of the 20 cent ones that I got. Which I haven't even opened and looked at this one yet, so I'm curious myself. But it's all like covered in lace and stuff. So even if you didn't end up using the shirt and just repurposed the lace, I mean, for 20 cents, you couldn't beat it. It's, you know, super awesome. The quality, you know, is still fairly good quality for what it is. And the t-shirt the material is really soft. So I would say 20 cents is an awesome, awesome buy on something like that. Other thing... Um, they have $2 tank tops, which I love my tank tops. I wear them all the time. Um, this is one of them. And this material is heavenly. Like, we're talking American apparel kind of feeling material. So $2 tank tops. How can you go wrong? This is awesome. I'm going to order a ton of tank tops from these people. Um. I got two of those. That one was obviously out of green. Um, this one is like a navy-ish blue. Has a little pocket. Um, also super, super soft. So I will keep you updated, but they're amazing. This one I had to order just because it was kind of fun. Um, it, it, it's, it's silly and ridiculous and covered in floral print and sparkles. And the whole back is mesh. So I'm going to try this on and see if it's not as awful as I thought. But once again, 20 cents. I wanted to check out what they had to offer. Um, Quality-wise, it's not bad. So if this is your style, sure, why not? 20 cents, it's yours. Um. Not necessarily my style, but from a reviewing standpoint, I would say it's actually a pretty good product. And lastly, um, this one I actually ordered another 20 cent shirt. And I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I need it in my life. Um, it is like a t-shirt material front with like little distressed holes in it. And then the back, um, trying to get it far enough away so you can see. The back, stand firm, de-end your style. Um, yes, de-end. Defend is spelled wrong. For me, that was a selling point because who doesn't want to de-end their style? I certainly do. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. So I guess if you're a stickler for a bad spelling, um, watch some of their stuff you might come across a spelling error but this was 20 cents and I liked the spelling error because I can't spell anything to save my life um just being honest spelling was never my thing so super awesome so ton of clothes 100 bucks who can complain with that and their customer service and shipping seemed good to me and I mean you it is coming from um you know, a foreign country. So it is going to take a little bit longer to get to you. So give them a little bit of time. I think this came in two weeks. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't that bad of a wait. And for the prices you're spending, it, it's absolutely amazing. So I will post pictures and a lot of this stuff on my lookbook as well as my social medias. So check out lrash.com for updates on stuff like that and links to my social medias. Thanks guys.